नमस्कार टुडे विल स्टडी द जीन एक्सप्रेशन एंड जीन रेगुलेशन सो हो से जीन एक्सप्रेशन इट इज अ प्रोसेस बाय हुई जीन गेट्स टर्न ऑन द जीन बिकम्स ऑन दैट दैट मींस द जीन विल बी ट्रांसक्राइब टू इट्स कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग मैसेंजर आरएनए एंड फ्रॉम द मैसेंजर आर एन ए दरेस्पॉन्डिंग प्रोटीन विल बी ट्रांसलेटेड सो वेन इज द जीन इज ऑन देर विल बी जीन एक्सप्रेशन and the cell will prepare its rna and proteins so each gene is responsible for making a particular protein or a group of similar proteins and when we say gene regulation that means it is a process to control which which genes will be expressed and which genes will be in off position which genes will be on and which uh, which genes will be not expressed or in be in the off position so regulation of gene expression is gene regulation so <coughs> why this uh, regulation is required in our cell uh, we can see that uh, almost uh, the all cells have the same genome because uh, we have 23 pairs of human cell it, it is having 23 pairs of chromosomes and there is mitochondrial D dna also so the genome uh, is same for all the cells but all the different cells have different structures and different functions so liver cells have different functions uh, nerve cells have different functions kidney cells have different functions different structures also they have and how how is it possible because they synthesize different types of proteins and different types of proteins means proteins will be produced from uh, genes on the expression of the genes will result in production of proteins and different uh, cells have different proteins that uh, means some genes are on so as we know the gene is a part of the dna which can express to produce the corresponding mrna and protein that means some genes are on and some genes are off some are on and some are off so but a particular cell requ requiring certain proteins will be in on condition and those uh, proteins or enzymes which are not required uh, those genes will be in off condition so we have uh, re uh, required functional messenger rna and proteins in different types of cells and those which are not required they will not be available they will be in off condition those genes will be in off condition so we have around 25000 genes and out of those 25000 genes say one cell uh, is uh, expressing only say 10 genes the other cell is expressing another uh, 15 or 20 genes another cell is expressing 100 genes and uh, accordingly they will uh, they will produce Uh, different types of proteins and accordingly they will have different structures and different functions so uh, physiological requirement of uh, uh, this uh, uh, gene regulation is this so this gene regulation in eukaryotes mainly occurs by rna interference so rna interference uh, uh, means this uh, messenger rna that means messenger rna is produced by transcription and transcription of u chromatin uh, the non condensed form of the uh, chromosome or the dna on transcription produces the precursor of messenger rna and this precursor of messenger rna will have both exons and introns uh, like the dna and exon is the coding part intron is the non coding part so the mrna pre mrna will also have the uh, coding part and the non coding part then this non coding part is spliced so by the process of splicing or processing uh, the messenger rna is produced this messenger rna then is then exported to the cytoplasm from the nucleus and this messenger rna is having the codons and based on the codons uh, available with the mrna the transfer rna will produce uh, will will uh, supply the required amino acids which, which will combine together to form the protein so that process is your translation 
and that protein again undergoes some modifications or processing to produce the active proteins the structurally and functionally active proteins and the, those modifications can be proteolytic cleavage like snipping of amino acids addition of phosphate groups phosphate groups addition of chemical groups like uh, uh, phosphates so all these modifications can be there to produce active proteins so this in in Euro, eukaryotes this gene regulation can occur at six stages the first stage uh, if uh, uh, it will pr provide certain proteins which can further condense this uh, euchromatin form of the dna to heterochromatin form for example there is one non coding uh, rna called uh, small interfering rna si rna which uh, which can bind to this uh, euchromatin let us see which can bind to this euchromatin and uh, and will uh, help in further condensation of the dna to produce heterochromatin so that there will be no transcription so this is this is one and uh, once uh, uh, and the second target can be during the transcription the third third target can be during the processing or splicing processing and export then fourth target can be the messenger rna that means the messenger rna can be either degraded or, or blocked so that uh, the ribosome uh, cannot pass through the messenger rna so that that will result in the uh, fifth fifth uh, um, type where we can regulate the genes in eukaryotes during translation or the uh, we can also target uh, during the protein modifications this is the sixth target so these are the targets at which the gene regulation can be uh, gene expression can be regulated so let us see one example, say, my, uh, my, another, uh, these, these introns actually produce the non-coding RNA. Let us say one example is microRNA, is one non-coding RNA, uh, um, which can bind to the untranslated region uh, uh, at the 3 dash end of the messenger RNA, and uh, 5 dash and 3 dash end of the uh, uh, messenger RNA, and can cause the messenger RNA degradation, or can block the ribosome to pass through the messenger RNA so that it can suppress the translation. So micro RNA uh, uh, degrades messenger RNA or inhibits translation thereby causing gene off or gene silencing. So in this way in eukaryotic cells the non-coding RNAs can interfere the post transcription uh, gene regulation and in in so this is uh, non coding rna the micro rna si rna small interfering rna they regulate gene expression and uh, these non coding rna also can protect the genome from virus and uh, transposable elements or so that they can be used as cell defense mechanism and we can administer uh, uh, small interfering RNA uh, as a cell defense mechanism. Then, um, then let us see the gene regulation by the prokaryotes and uh, in the prokaryotes like say bacteria uh, we will have operons. Operons uh, you can go through our uh, Mm, class on operons and where uh, you can see how this uh, uh, this thing occurs and we can have two types of operons inducible operons and repressible operons and uh, the inducible operons are normally off and the repressible operons are normally on and in presence of one inducer uh, say lac operon the inducer is the lactose so uh, these are actually the, uh, the they actually do the catabolism um, type of activity so <coughs> so the in presence of lactose the 
gene will be turned on so that the lactose catabolism will be there. Similarly, uh, anabolism type uh, is the repressible operon where the um, gene is normally on but turned off. So, when there will be enough tryptophan synthesis in case of TRP operon, the uh, gene will be turned off. Let us see this uh, example of lack operon, this the operon where a number of uh, uh, related structural genes are there uh, and who, who have actually related functions, they uh, exist together. So, in the lack operon there are three genes Z, Y and A and this Z uh, expresses the enzyme beta galactosidase, Y expresses the enzyme uh, beta galactoside permease and A expresses the enzyme transacetylase. And these three enzymes are uh, required for uh, the degradation of lactose, lactose uh, uh, by the beta galactoside permease because lactose is a beta galactoside by beta galactoside permease it enters inside into the bacterial cell. Then this beta galactoside DASE enzyme um, breaks down lactose to glucose and galactose and the bacteria gets glucose. And uh, transacetylase uh, actually uh, averts the toxicity of other uh, beta galactoside, uh, averts the accumulation of uh, uh, other beta galactosides by transacetylation by transferring the acetyl group from the acetyl coenzyme A. So, these three enzymes have related function uh, 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 required for the degradation of lactose, and the lac operon helps in production of all these three enzymes to at, at a time. Uh, so, you can see here uh, for details you can uh, see the class on lac operon. Uh, just briefly, uh, there is a regulatory uh, region where lac I is the enzyme which produces the repressor and this repressor can bind to the operator site. Actually, the RNA polymerase which is required for the gene uh, transcription uh, binds to the promoter and now this RNA polymerase can pass through the genes and there will be transcription from gene to co corresponding messenger RNA and then from corresponding MR messenger RNA the corresponding proteins will be produced or enzymes will be produced. And when this repressor blocks here in the operator site, the, prom the RNA polymerase uh, uh, action is inhibited by this repressor and there, there will be no production of the um, enzyme. So, here the, you can see the repressor protein binds. So, RNA polymerase cannot move. The, so, the production of these enzymes is inhibited. So, this is negative regulation. And uh, in presence of the lactose, when this lactose binds to this repressor protein, there will be no binding with the uh, operate, no binding of this repressor protein with the operator. So, it allows the RNA polymerase to access access uh, the genes, and there will be transcription and gene expression occurs. So, the genes will be on. And there is another positive regulation where there is one protein called catabolite activator protein. Uh, which requires a co-activator cyclic AMP, then it binds to this regulatory site called uh, CAP site and this will bind to the RNA polymerase and facilitate the binding of RNA polymerase to the promoter and gene expression will be uh, uh, there. So, this is called positive regulation uh, where uh, this uh, cyclic AMP when there is no glucose, when there is no glucose or low glucose there will be uh, production of uh, um, cyclic MP because the, the adenylate cyclase enzyme will be active. There will be production of cyclic MP. Cyclic MP will activate the, this inactive CAP, catabolite activator protein, which will facilitate the binding of RNA polymerase to the promoter site. And then there will be gene expression, the corresponding messenger RNA, and the corresponding proteins will be produced and lactose will be uh, degraded to glucose. So, at that time, these three related structural enzymes, uh, structural genes, uh, they work so uh, 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 through an operon in case of bacteria E. coli. And so, in prokaryotes, operons uh, regulate the gene expression. That is all.
that is all about gene expression and regulation thank you